guys, welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look at what is going on with you guys in love. So this is a new love reading for you guys, okay? Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to take a look at the new person, the new love that you are dealing with or that you could be dealing with in the future. Um, you can apply this to your own unique situations and your own timelines. This could be a future event if, it's not, if this is not happening right now. Apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch scrolls if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Libra. What messages do you have for, for Libra in love? What's going on with Libra in love for September 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra, for Libra. What the Page of Cups here and the Four of Swords. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Four of Swords here. I don't know. It seems like you might be in no contact with somebody here. I mean, some here seem, seemingly is very emotionally aloof here. Because with the Page of Cups here, I feel like some here is making you an offer. But someone here is not paying any attention to it. I mean, Libra, with the Page of Cups here, you might find this person or find someone here just very immature, emotionally immature here. With the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Four of Swords here. We have the Six of Wands and also with the King of Cups. Interesting. King of Cups, Six of Wands. I feel like someone here is definitely offering someone love here. You know, maybe someone here is coming in with an apology. Perhaps, you know, someone here feels like, you know what? I didn't really fully tell you the truth about how I truly feel. And this is how I truly feel about you with the King of Cups here. Yeah, someone here could be falling in love with you. Could be dealing with the water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What else do we have here for Libra? We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's new love coming into your life here. Whoever this person is, this person's really interested in you. But I feel like you might be ignoring this person here for some reason. Maybe you're not ready for this person. Okay, maybe you're dealing with somebody else. Maybe you're still hung up on somebody else here. But I do feel like whoever this person is, this person's definitely showing their emotional availability here for you. This person's very emotional, sensitive, empathetic here, very caring, very nurturing. But they could sometimes be a bit emotionally closed off here. But I do feel like this person definitely has strong feelings here for you. We have the Sun card here, Leo Energy. Tell me about the Page of Cups here. I don't know. I also get the sense that, you know, some of you guys could have met this person during the summer here, too, in just, in just the last few weeks. Uh, Page of Cups and the Three of Wands here, the Four of Swords here, and also we have the King of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So I feel like there's someone here that's, you know, that sees a future here with you. I do feel like this person is trying to communicate with you, but I get the sense that there's some sort of disconnect or some sort of aloofness here on someone's part. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like someone here is trying very, 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 very hard to connect with someone here, to hang out with someone, you know, to get someone to engage. Um, but, you know, I feel like someone here is def definitely not giving that back. Tell me the Six of Wands here, and we have the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Cups. I feel like someone here rejected this, rejected new love. And someone here just keeps checking up on you, checking in to see how you're doing. Hey, what's up, Libra? But I feel like some here is just not really responding. So Libra, I'm not really quite sure what's going on with you because I feel like some here really wants to get to know you. Some here really wants to be with you here. Um, some here is falling in love with you. Some here has deep feelings here for you. We have the Chariot and the Ace of Cups. However, this is, I feel like this person is deciding on you, wanting to move forward here with you with the Sun card here and the Five of Wands. 
you know, I do feel like there could be some sort of conflict between yourself here where I feel like you're having a hard time accepting this here. Let's see what else we have. Tell me about this new person, this new love that Libra is dealing with or will be dealing with in the future. What does Libra need to know about this individual? <coughs> what does Libra need to know about this individual? What does Libra need to know about this individual here? For September 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra, for Libra. We have the Two of Cups. There will be some sort of union here between you and this person here. Um, you might not want this now, but I feel like you're going to want this here because I feel like the connection that you have with this person is undeniable here. There's a strong past life soul tie here. There's a, uh, there's a connection where you guys feel like you know each other, but then you guys don't. There's a familiarity with this individual and it could be scaring you off a little bit, uh, Libra, because I feel like you never felt this way about anybody before, you know? Um, so let's see what else we have. Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords. Mm. One of the things I'm getting here, the interesting thing is like, I feel like if there was a, if this is a past life soulmate connection here. Some of you guys could be having like memories of this past life where there's a, there was a betrayal here. You know, you could be having memories of some, this individual doing you dirty here or doing somebody dirty and that you could be, you know, pulling your energies back because of that. We have the four of cups and the six of pentacles here. You know, I do feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person is very generous and very uh, very giving here. And, and I, you know, I feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person just can't stop thinking about you. It's kind of like, you know, this person's asking themselves or you're asking yourself, like, what is this? You know, what is this? Like, what's happening here? Some of the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? Oh. Two of cups. And the two of pentacles. How many the six of cups here? The six of cups. And also the Ace of Pentacles here. You know, I feel like some of you are choosing you. Okay. I mean, some of you could have been juggling here, you know, but I feel like some of you is deciding on you here. Maybe that's one of the reasons why that you feel betrayed or that you are pulling your energies back here. Maybe you're under the impression that this person was only into you or de dealing with you here. Um, we have the Lovers here and the Knight of Pentacles and also the Ten of Swords here and the Seven of Swords. Okay. Some guys are having a hard time trusting this individual here. Yeah, let's say if this person, you know, didn't wasn't really transparent and honest about, you know, uh, uh, dating other people or seeing other people here, you could be feeling betrayed here. But one of the things that's coming up very strongly is that you have never met anyone or dealt with anyone like this before here. I mean, I feel like the connection that you are feeling towards this individual here is hard to push away or hard to deny here. We have the Four of Cups. And we have the Two of Wands here, and the Six of Pentacles here, and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. You know, I feel like this person does or has had options here, but look at this person facing you here. This person wants you. This is a strong soulmate connection here. We have the King to Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants marriage and commitment here with you. This person's fantasizing about this, and this person's like in this energy with the Fool card here, kind of like, Fuck yeah, let's do this. You know, perhaps you're kind of like in this energy too. You might come to a realization. Uh, you might come to the realization of that. So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.